All right, hey guys. So we finally tracked down Kim. She was with her dad all day today. Mm -hmm. So uh, we're in a new little location. Pretty cool. This is one of our favorite spots. And then today, uh, Richie is going to be the translator for Kim. Someone wants to give Kim a surprise, a little gift. And I'll just read what they wrote. All right. All right, so we're at Jing Jing's right now. While Richard's not here, I think he just gave Blue Doy a ride home. Mm -hmm. But they did measure, yeah. and they made a list. And then Raymond's gonna go to town, which he's there now. Yeah. He had to get a few things. Mm -hmm. So the next step is they're gonna order some more supplies. And then look, the floor is pretty much done. I think Blue Day still has to do another uh, coat or something. I'm not sure what he does next. But we have a little bit of bird poop in here. But no, bird th chicken. that chicken chicken, yeah. <laughs> But it looks really nice. It's a lot bigger than I thought it was gonna be. Like it, it's a really good sized room. Jing Jing can dance TikTok here. Yeah, we, get, we have a dance party in here. <laughs> Does she dance TikTok like you? No, no. 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 Oh. Richard is very good in TikTok. <laughs> I seen Rich. I seen Richard dance. He's pretty good. Oh, he's not. Richard, 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 Richard. Richard. Good in dancing. Yeah, he is. Usually make uh, uh, no face reaction like Bella Bella Porch. Yeah. Okay, and that's the one that. Okay, that's the one that Keith drew the other day. Yeah. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Nice. So here's one last look at it, and then in here, we're gonna build something for the kitchen, and then it'll be kind of in a separate area, so it's not so smoky inside the room. Mm -hmm. So very nice. So we just want to show you this update real quick. We're not sure when the materials will come for here because we're kind of in a halt right now. Uh, they're not, they're not going to take anything down until they get it because they don't want to take it down and then, you know, if it rains, they won't have it protected anymore. But, very cool. We'll start this soon as soon as the materials come in. Jing Jing, it's good to see ya. One TikTok dance. Jing, Jing, come on, all of us. Ready? Oh, no. <laughs> Three, two, one. I'll do the only, the only dance I know. <laughs> Maybe next time. Maybe once it's complete, we can get Richard, yeah. Jing Jing, Richie, Raymond. Drink yeah, drink some tuba. I'll, I'll do it too, I guess. <laughs> All right, Jing Jing, we'll see you later. Bye, Jing. Bye-bye. Uh, nice steps. So we have the bathroom pretty much done, the CR, and then now we're moving on there. That looks really Moving nice. On. I'll go back here and kind of show. So we'll try to come back here as soon as the materials come. Well, the next we have a surprise for Kim. Kim, Nicole, Borja. Yes. <laughs> so we're going to walk there next, and I, I guess we'll just see you when we get there. All right, so we're leaving Amux. Um, we went there to give uh, Kim a surprise. She's not here right now. She's actually with Amuk, her father. So um, we'll try to come back another time. But um, we got Pilsum. He's gonna drive us somewhere to another gift we're gonna give. And uh, we're gonna head there now. He's our driver for yeah, today. He's our driver, yeah. It's <laughs> Raymond's not here, so I cannot drive. So Pilsum's gonna save us for today. So uh, we're gonna drive to the other location. I think it's a new area. I'm not sure where it is. We're going to go to Aimee's now and she knows where it is, but pretty soon we'll show you who the person is. I'm not even sure the person's name who we're giving the gift to. Someone saw a video and wanted to give a gift to this little girl that I think blessed me or something. And she was very polite, they said on the video. So we're going to go give them the gift. So we're going to go there now and we'll just see when we get there. James is leading the way. Nice court. Oh. Hi. Oh, hey. Hi. But this place is new. Each one of those newspapers is mangoes. Wow. Many. Wow. <laughs> we would have never found this place if it wasn't for James. I have no idea where we are. I'll take I'll meet you guys up there. So you can see all these houses are really, really spread out. So this is kind of how far they need to go 
when they go visit their family or friends. They usually walk or drive a motorbike if they have one. <laughs> this is what it's like by my house during the fall season. All the leaves fall down and they're all scattered along the ground. All right, so we're gonna leave the bikes there. And then I think James has his. We're gonna walk the rest of the way. These are really nice walks through here. Shout out to my dad. We usually go uh, hiking every year or more than that, but usually take a, a amount of time, like a week or two to go someplace each year. But we hike throughout the year. Well, shout out to my dad. He'd really, really love it out here. Good thing James bought bikes. Yeah. It's easy for him to come here at his Lola. Yeah, walking all these ways would take forever. So now that James has a bike, just makes it so much easier for him to get around and thanks for him to showing us here we would never yeah. be able to find this today yeah. we would have been lost it's so peaceful out here though hello so we're on our way to the house to give off the gift and we're walking by this like chapel really cool it's a place to come and pray i believe wow Very cool. It reminds me of like a campground, like different fireplaces, place of a fire, you can camp. All right, hey guys, we're with Emma Joy and her family. Um, a few days ago, we we're at Imi's house and someone saw Emma Joy do a really polite thing. This is what they said. In your video from April 16th, where you went to Imi and Junior's house, you were greeted by a polite girl, Emma Joy, giving you the mono greeting. I think I'm saying that right. That's the hand to forehead gesture. It's like a polite thing that youngsters do to the elders as like, um, just like a polite greeting. I got to respect. So we came here today and this, Emma Joy is actually Imi's sister. And then this is their mother. That's their brother, sister, sister, and then sister. And then this is the mother and father. So, someone saw the video and saw how polite you were, wanted to give you a gift, and maybe Richie can kind of translate as I say it. You're free to spend this any way you want, okay? You can spend it, save it, buy it on candy, <laughs> or anything you want. But it's 5,000, one, two, three, four, five, 300. And you also get a lucky 200 in there too. But this is all for you, okay? <laughs> You're very welcome. I'll translate. Sure, sure. Thank you. So, nai nakita dai sa video ni Dustin nga kanang polite kuno kay ka ba nang abot mi ning bless ka. So, tungod ana, gitagaan ka nila then pwede nimo gastos bisag unsa imong gusto para imo. Okay? Okay. Salamat. Salamat. You're very welcome. And thanks for being polite. I think that's a really good thing that Philippines youngsters do to kind of show respect and that's uh, I think that's a really Thank cool you, thing <laughs> <laughs> all right so before we kind of got a chance to meet the other kids and other people maybe we can get a chance to meet Emma Joy a little bit what kind of things do you like to do what are your hobbies sports study study mm. that's the best hobby of all mm. what's your favorite subject to study Sa paborito ni mong subject? Math, English, science, unsa man? Ganahan ni mong subject, ganahan man. English. English. Nice. Do you have any interest what you want to be when you grow up? Nang ni kadako ni mo, unsa man ni mong ganahan, mahimo ba kang extra, doctor, unsa man? Teacher. Teacher, good profession. Nice. <laughs> So Richard just told me, they also call it Amin here, which is the blessed, Armano, and maybe a different uh, area. How did you learn that? Was that taught by your parents? Kanang din siya nakatunti ba nga mabutan ng pagkabata? Sa gilikanan siya. Of course, from the parents. From the parents, okay. All right, so I guess from here, maybe Emma Joy was going to kind of show us the area. It's really nice. It has like a um, Amakan house with mixed of bamboo. All it's right. It's a really interesting area. Kedai. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. See, she has bed in front of us. Her father built that. It's a cool bamboo bed. It's really cool in here with the fans, and plus, you have this hammock in where the breeze can go through. Did he die? Miss Kisame Matogiri? At the end, I Ah, other siblings are sleeping here because they cannot fit all there. Okay, so some sleep there, and then some sleep in here. Very cool. Yeah, you can see the breeze coming through. And then, send in back. This is their kitchen. Hmm? That means kitchen? Yeah. All right. Yeah, this is the same as Angie's father-in-law. They have little cup holders. You can Thank put you. your cups there. So this is the exit. Oh, look at this. Ah, oh, this is cool. Nice hangout area. So he said they will make a banig. Um, oh, banig is like tinaki sample sa banig. Nah, uh, na, na, sample pa. Yeah, dili katong banig. Ah, human. Na, human. Ah, na, human. She will show you a finished finish product of banig. Something they use for sleeping. Oh, they it's sleep like, like on it? Yeah. Oh, cool. Very cold. Wow, all right. I mean, cool to sleep on. All right. For this one. Oh, so that's the finished product. Yeah. Mm. That's cool. I've seen these in like stores and stuff. I've never yeah. seen it made. So that is the before. Yeah. And this comes from a what kind of tree? Pandan. 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 Yeah. Okay. I'm not sure exactly what tree that is. But, but it's like similar to buli, but it's softer than buli. Yeah, it has like a softer texture. Nice. And remember, we have like this also, but we bought that. When I was a kid, we always used like this for sleeping mat, and then we bought. But this one, she made. Wow. Do you make this, do you make this to sell it or make it to use for your own? or gamit. She can sell if someone will buy, and she can also use. How much do you sell this for? <laughs> Three hundred guru, like this, three hundred, this big. Okay. She made this. Mm. Wow. How long does it take to make something like that? One week. One week. Usually one week because it's hard to do. First, you do like this. Mm. She will slice that. And make it like this. It almost feels like leather. Like it's really like soft and flexible. They were insisting on cooking us a chicken. <laughs> but we said, we said, no, it's okay. So we said, we'll take some coconuts. So they're going to get some coconuts instead. All right, so this is one, two, three, four, five, six coconuts. All right, fresh from the tree. You can see there's lots of coconut out here, and none of this goes to waste. First you drink it, then you can eat it, and then when it dries, they burn it here, and eventually they're going to turn that into copris, which is some kind of oil maybe. You guys might know more than I do, but I think they burn like the meat, and eventually they sell it and that turns in that the oil so that's like another thing you can do with the coconut like angie she sold it to turn into like necklaces or different things like that but there's many many different things you can do with coconut and coconut oil is great you can use that for cooking for your hair for your skin you can use it for absolutely everything
All right, so we are in the back of the house now. You can see over here, it's got a really nice view. And then this way, they have some chickens, some roosters, and it's the back of the house. Check out some of these chickens, they're really quiet. Nice colors. All right, so here we are behind the house, and this is some of the things that they grow. They have some bananas, they have some komote, komote kaohoi, and then some moringa. And they also have some guy yeah. out there, that's with the komote, mm -hmm. but that's like the leafy stuff. And then they also plant some coconuts. Yeah. So uh, a little mix of different things out here. So behind the house, we have some Indian mango, which Aimee's gonna get some. <laughs> Dude, that was like that close from your head. <laughs> and then over there, that's a jackfruit. But right now, it's not the season for jackfruit. Alright, so next we're going to walk down to, I think it's like a waterfall area. They don't know if there's much water there because it's the dry season. But they're going to show us where they fish sometimes, when there's more water, and where they swim. So out here, there are many young coconuts, not even producing the coconuts yet. These here are around three years old, and then those are a little bit older. How old is that one that's producing? Seven. About seven. So around probably four, five, six, seven years old, that's when they start to produce, and that's one around seven years old. And these are all just a little bit too young. Pill some sees something. <laughs> ah, mango tree. Anything up there? No. Ah, this is Lumboy. So here these lovely ladies are washing their clothes. Como esta? <laughs> and over here, they're making some culprits. Hey guys! So this is right in the middle of the process, up here. And this is all the meat, it looks like. So they use the coconut to make the fire. And then up here, they also use the coconut meat to uh, do what they need to do to sell it for the oil. That is Ramel's place. This way. All right. So before, when we went to Ramel's, we went there the first time. We gave him some food and some different things. And then we went again, just not too long ago. We gave him a whole bunch of candy and some games. And he lives right over this area. So that's kind of the general area that we're in right now. This might be one of the hills that we see passing there. It's like, oh, I want to go there. Mm, maybe. And then we finally got to come here. Yeah. 
Because this, we see always see areas like, oh, I really want to go up there. Yeah. So this could be one of the areas that we uh, wanted to go yeah. to when we finally got to. So we had some young coconut trees over there that are around three years old and they were too small to produce. But I believe these are the miniature coconuts because look, these aren't very high at all. If I wanted to, I could take this down. So these are the miniature coconut trees, which are nice because you don't have to climb at all to get them. So we are here. This is the place where they used to swim and uh, fish and different things like that. But you can see there's no water. And it usually came from up there, coming down, and would fill this area. And they could swim and um, have the fish here. But right now, there's nothing. How long ago was the last time there was enough water to swim or catch fish here? Five years. Five years, Five years. Five years ago, okay. Mm -hmm. So they weren't able to swim in this or catch fish in here for five years. Mm -hmm. So you can kind of imagine, I bet this is a pretty cool spot before when all of this was filled with water and they had the water coming down there. It was like probably like a little waterfall and they had all the fish here they can come and eat and catch. I bet that was pretty cool to see. So five years ago, this is where the waterfall was coming down. It'd come down here. There's like a little deep area here and it continued going where Richie is. There's another water spot there Then eventually it'd go right into the little pool area where they had the fish pond. So you can see here, there's still water coming out of here. And they say sometimes in the summer, which is coming up pretty much now, when they are dry where they live, sometimes they'll come here and fill it up. And this pretty much goes all the time? Yeah. Kind of like at your house? Yeah. All right. It's got a pretty good pressure. So where we just were with the water coming out, this pipe here, which is going along the path, where those ladies were um, washing their clothes, where they're doing the cold press with the coconuts, that's where the water's coming from so they can wash their clothes. And there's no need to go fetch it because the water's always coming out. You can see it's going along all along this way. Here's that pipe going this way, connecting the water. It's coming out here. And then they can wash the clothes in the supply of water. So even in the summer, this never runs out? Wow. That's nice because just living at Richie, sometimes a water source is um, kind of a challenge. Yeah. But here, that's good to hear that the never the water never runs out. Mm -hmm. It's a good, looks like really clean water. Yeah. And it's they got good pressure. It comes from the cave and then no one's leaving there, so it's very, very clean. Wow. So, so if you wanted to, you could probably drink it. Yeah, they can drink this. Oh, they can. Yeah. Okay. So over here, you see some big jackfruits. And they put these bags over them so the bugs don't get to it and they can grow to their full amount. You can see there's one up there, a really big one. And I think these are two. Yeah. They're just in. They're connected all here. The sap is broken because there's three of them. Wow. Those are healthy looking too. Wow. All right, so they would not let us leave without eating. So we're about to eat before we leave. But check out these tiny bananas. These are the smallest ones in the Philippines. Do they have a special name? Tungdan. All right. Okay. So there's some bigger and some smaller, but these are the smallest ones. So we're just going to finish eating here. Um, and then after this, I think we're going to go back to Pilsum's and then meet Kim. Hopefully she's there. We don't know. But Richie's happy she has some dry fish. Yeah, they, we refused to eat the chicken, but they said, we'll just cook for you another I easy one. <laughs> we didn't really have a choice. We, yeah. we didn't want them to cook because, you know, we'd rather have them eat it. But yeah. they are, they insisted, so we don't want to say no. <laughs> Here's Philippine smallest banana. It's tiny. See what it tastes like. Same. About the same, yeah. Just a smaller version. It's good though, yeah. Look at that. Lots of them. We did not get They're giving us the bigger version of the banana. Nice little going away present. Thank you guys very much. Nice meeting everyone today. Hopefully we'll see you guys again. Bye bye. Bye bye, Imajoy. Bye guys. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Is it come back, Uro?
Cook some more? Cook chicken. All right, next time. Bye-bye. Right. <laughs> Hello, guys. <laughs> Dustin is not here. <laughs> all right, guys. So we just got back. It was a pretty long day. Uh, thanks to Pilsum, we got to drive all the way out to Emma Yay. Joy's. Yeah. And we met their family. I didn't know that was... I didn't know Emma Joy was Aimee's sister. sister. So that was news to me. I, and then I met uh, Aimee's mother. So it was kind of cool it's meeting new people. Peaceful. In, very place. nice area. Yeah. That's one of my top five or ten uh, places so far. I mean, it was yeah. really quiet. But anyway, uh, we're on our way to Kim's house where uh, Pilsum does live. And look, yeah. And we're not sure if she's there, but before we go, Pilsum, you always helping us out before when we used to be his next door neighbor. And uh, we haven't seen you in a while, but today he really saved us because we had no other way to get there. He's the sweetest neighbor we have. Yeah, he's always helping us, always doing lots of yeah. stuff for us. And he... saying, I love you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> he really is a good neighbor. So, Richie and I want to treat you 1,000 pesos. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Yay. You're welcome, man. I love you, Vanessa. I love you too, man. He really deserves oh. it. Hey! <laughs> so, he really does deserve it. Um, he's a really hard worker, and you know, now we don't get to see all the time because yeah. we're so far away. Well, not so far away, but you know, we used to be right. We used to open up the door and say, "Hey, Pilsum." Yeah, and then Dustin would just edit, and then they would just pass by. Yeah. And say, "Hey, Dustin." That's one thing I kind of miss because now I'm kind of editing just in a room, mm. and then there I used to edit at route in front of like where everybody used to walk past. I used to see everybody all the time. Well, um, anyway, Pilsum, we really do appreciate it. And next, we're gonna walk to his house and hopefully Kim's home because he has. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Uh, Kim has a gift from somebody, so we're gonna hopefully meet her there and uh, we'll walk there. If she's not there today, we'll come back tomorrow. Yes, tara. Well, well tara. Thank, Thank you. you. No problem, bro. You deserve it, man. <laughs> all right, hey guys. So we finally tracked down Kim. She was with her dad all day today. Mm -hmm. So uh, we're in a new little location. Pretty cool. This is one of our favorite spots. And then today, uh, Richie is gonna be the translator for Kim. Someone wants to give Kim a surprise, a little gift, and I'll just read what they wrote. All right. Kim, Kim. <laughs> you are an amazing young lady with such a great smile. Wow. Uh, <laughs> 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 Kwan kana Kim kanang amazing kanga pagkabata kanang og nindot ka og smile. My wife and I love watching you on the vlogs. Akong asawa, uh, akong asawa kaming duha Ganahan kayong mutanaw ni mo sa vlog. Stay sweet. Padayon sa pagka-sweet. Always give your best. O permente ipakita ang imuhang best. And keep God first. O uh, uh, what's that in Isaiah? Um, ginoo uh, first. God first. Sabot mga anak na. God first. And your dreams will come true. And yeah, maabot ni mo. Basta God first, makabot ni mo imong panganay. <laughs> um, this is uh, love from Temple, Georgia. So, gikan na siya dahil love. Gikan sa Temple, Georgia. From Jason and Tab with the King. And gikan ni Jason and Tab with the King. Yes. And they want to give you, and you can spin it any way you want. So, whatever you want to do, it's up to you. It's choose to you. So, bisa kung sa'yo mong ganahan. That's well, 2,500. All Yay. for you, Kim. You're very welcome. Kim's getting a new room soon, yeah. so that's very exciting. Thank you. You're very welcome. What do you think you might spend it on, Kim? For her birthday. She's saving. For your birthday? Yeah. Nice. We'll go to your birthday. What day is your birthday? June 2. June 2. June 2. All right. After your birthday. So another about another month. Yeah. Okay. Are you a Gemini? Um June. Like like the sign? Libra? Oh. Gemini kada Libra. Pieces. What you guys tell us. What is June second? Uh, that I'm a Gemini. Mine's May twenty two, so I think it's Gemini, but I'm not positive. Yeah. May, June, I think it is. Alright, so we will it's it's like one year almost on her birthday. I remember you gave her a gift. I do Money. remember that. Yeah. I bet she grew almost a foot. I yeah. think she really did. Yeah. She I grew remember. a lot. It's her birthday is very fast. Time flies really fast. Yeah, you guys really try to watch some of the old videos because I've been here over a year. 
Mm. And around that age, you know, they really shoot up. Yeah. You should watch some old videos and just see like Arnie, Pilsum. Yeah. Even your brother, yeah. I bet he has a lot of changes too. Everybody around here. Sometimes I'll see like an old clip and I'm like, wow, every, a lot of people have really changed. I think I just keep getting fatter. <laughs> <laughs> Me is the same. Yeah. Will it getting prettier? <laughs> <laughs> it's true. It's true. Ah, <laughs> every day. <laughs> so no the trouble. <laughs> no, yeah. I'm safe. <laughs> <laughs> all right all right so uh it was a, um a nice eventful day we tried to come here earlier but she wasn't here so um we glad we came here and found her today so yeah. thank you very much for the gifts from emma joy to kim and then pilsen really uh deserved his too yeah. as well so uh, you guys god bless and i guess we'll see you guys tomorrow i think thank this is around the day all right bye bye guys Happy <laughs> <again>. <laughs> yeah.